It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for Fear the Walking Dead. This is going to be my death predictions for season 5. Without further ado, let's jump right into this. Kicking it off with John. I definitely think he is a safe character, at least for season 5. There's a few things that lead me to come to that conclusion. One of these is that he's a fan favorite and at this point, Fear the Walking Dead just does not have enough fan favorites right now that are unique to Fear the Walking Dead. Of course, we just had Morgan and Dwight joining, but fan favorite characters like John that were developed on Fear the Walking Dead itself, they're rare. So for that reason alone, I definitely think that John is safe, at least for season five, like I said. Now, the other thing that John has that not a lot of characters in both Walking Dead or Fear the Walking Dead have is that he brings this kind of Western look to the show, which is something they can definitely utilize in the future to make the show interesting, which it seems like they are doing based on some promo shots that we've received. That's another reason why I think John is most likely a safe character for season five. Next up, we have Morgan. I think it would be a mistake to kill Morgan on Fear the Walking Dead. If they're gonna kill Morgan, it makes the most sense for that to happen in The Walking Dead's mothership, not on Fear the Walking Dead. So for that reason, I think he is safe. Could they do something insane and kill Morgan on Fear the Walking Dead? Yes. And knowing Fear writers, they might end up doing something crazy like that. But I just think that it doesn't really make sense for Morgan to die on Fear the Walking Dead. And I don't want that to happen. I would rather have Morgan's story end on The Walking Dead itself. Now, that being said, it's possible that Morgan won't die but just cross over back to The Walking Dead. It's not likely, but there's a chance they might do something like that too. I think the only way for Morgan to leave the show, Fear the Walking Dead, would be to go back to The Walking Dead, not to die. Next, we have Alicia. Now, Alicia, it's a no-brainer. She's definitely safe. At this point, I think Morgan and Alicia are the main characters of Fear the Walking Dead, the two main ones, and I don't really see them killing off more main characters especially after the last two seasons with huge characters like Madison, Nick, and Travis either dying or just leaving. So I think because of that, it's very unlikely for them to repeat the same mistake and kill another main character in Fear the Walking Dead when they don't really have other great characters that can replace these characters. Next, we have Luciana. Luciana is my first pick of a character who might die in season 5 of Fear the Walking Dead. Now there are shots in the trailer of the new season where we have Luciana being shot. However, I don't think that's what kills her. That could foreshadow her death for sure, but that's not necessarily what's going to kill her. But at this point, I just don't see Luciana having any connection to any of the characters, at least not that much. So I could definitely see them killing Luciana, who is sort of a split character between a main character and a b-lister character so i think if they're gonna kill anyone in season five of fear the walking dead luciana will definitely be a great candidate for that next up we have strand now for strand it's an interesting one i think he's safe for season five if they were going to kill strand they would have killed him already i think at this point since strand is still alive he's probably going to be a long-term standing character and also because of what they did with him and Daniel Salazar and the storyline that they've built between them and the beef they have going on between them, it doesn't really make sense for them to take him out at this point. If they were going to kill Strand, they would have had either Daniel kill him or him dying some way in the previous season. But because they didn't do that, I'm leaning more towards Strand being safe this season. Next up, we have June. Because of the connection between June and John, I think it is likely that they might kill June to move John's story forward and to build that character up even more to, to develop him. But that said, I think it's too early. I think it makes more sense for them to build this connection a little bit more and make it more organic and make it feel more natural and for there to be more at stake than just that cliche love connection that they've built so far but i think if they develop these characters right and they built the connection right season six will be a great time to kill june off if they're gonna kill her off next we have althea 
Now, Althea is definitely an interesting one. She is on my list of a character who might end up dying this season. However, I'm hesitant putting her on this list because what they've done with her so far in terms of her gathering everyone's stories and that kind of connection and that kind of story they've built up for her, it makes it unlikely for them to want to take this character out of this story. And also she's another one of those sort of fan favorite characters that I just don't think they're ready to kill off just yet. But she is on my list because if they're going to have a shocking death in season 5, she could definitely be one of those. And also, another thing that does come into play is the talks or rumors of yet another crossover, but this time the other way around. For a Fear the Walking Dead character to cross over to The Walking Dead. And if that happens, Althea is definitely one of those characters that could end up being that crossover character. So even if she doesn't die in season 5, it's possible that they could take her and just cross her over to The Walking Dead. Similar thing with June as well. With June, I feel like because of that connection with John and June not being where I think it should be heading towards, it's not time for June to even cross over at this point. I think Althea is a better choice for that. Next up, we have Dwight. There's really nothing for me to say about Dwight here. He is safe. He's just going to cross over to Fear the Walking Dead in Season 5. So there's absolutely no way they're going to kill Dwight off in Season 5. Unless the writers are on drugs or something. But there's absolutely no way I see them killing Dwight off in Season 5 of Fear the Walking Dead. Next, we have Daniel Salazar. Now, Daniel is an interesting one because... He is just returning this season. He's making his return. And he's a fan favorite character. He is one of those very, very interesting characters that they should have built up even more. And he should have got more story. So I don't see a reason why they would kill Daniel off this season and for it to really make sense. So because of that, Daniel Salazar is also another safe character in my eyes. Next up, we have Sarah. Sarah is one of those B-list or even C-list characters that is definitely a very, very likely character to die this season. So she's definitely on my list. She is number one in my list. I think there's a very high possibility that she might die this season. Next up, Wendell. Wendell is also in my list. However, both of these won't die. It's just going to be one of them. If I were to guess, I would lean more towards Wendell. But it's also possible that they might kill off Sarah. But I think for those two characters, it'll be shocking, extremely shocking. I'll be really surprised if they kill both at the same time or both the same season, I mean. They're probably going to keep one alive. And I think it makes more sense to kill Wendell off to move Sarah's story forward. But they could also do it the other way around. Last but not least, we have Charlie. Now, Charlie is one of those characters that I didn't even think would make it this far. Remember, she killed Nick. We still haven't forgotten about that. So, I think, with that said, she's probably safe. If they were going to kill her off, they would have done it either as soon as she killed Nick, like a few episodes after, or when we had that emotional scene between Charlie and Alicia. They could have had Alicia kill Charlie. So if they really wanted to kill off Charlie, the moment would have been those moments. The time has passed at this point. I don't really see them kill off Charlie other than maybe for it to be like a shocking death if they really want something like that. For story's sake, it doesn't make sense to kill off Charlie. And that's basically my death predictions for season 5 of Fear the Walking Dead. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video. If you like what you see, press like, subscribe for more content, and press the bell button to receive notifications for daily uploads.